Next guy coming stage, he plays all over town. I love him, you're gonna love him. He's tall, he's handsome, he's funny. What else is there? Give it up to Jamie Woo! Gravy! <laughs> I am Jamie Gravy, and I can't stand when people are like, Jamie Gravy, is that your real name? <laughs> of course. It's my real stage name, you know? <laughs> I don't like going by my real name, it's kind of embarrassing. So, it's Jamie Mashed Potatoes. <laughs> can't go by that, you know? Obviously, it's not Jamie Mashed Potatoes. It's James! <laughs> Uh, I actually do, but I've gone by Jamie my whole life, even though James is my real name. Jamie my entire life, and as you know, uh, it's a both a uh, male and female name, you know, and uh, it's kind of got me in some trouble before. I had a girl come up to me uh, and tell me that I had a girl's name, so I, I punched her, you know. <laughs> yeah, hard. Punched her real hard. Uh, I was five, I should have mentioned that. I was five years old. I don't condone hitting that. My mom was pissed. I was in kindergarten, she drove up to the principal's office where I was waiting. And she was, oh, she was livid. You know, she said, Jamie, we've talked about this. We do not hit girls. We do not hit girls. Why did, why did you hit her anyway? It's like, she said I had a girl's name. She's like, who? Jerry? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't too quick with it yet, you know? She resorted to violence at a young age. Oh, man. I'm new to New York City. I've only been living here about nine months from Dallas. If you couldn't tell, I might kick it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, on, man. Fucking ass. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool down there. Uh, but uh, New York's cool too, you know. It's growing on me a little bit, you know. You folks could, you know, learn some manners. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's a good place. New York City is way different than Dallas, you know. Oh my gosh, way different. I don't know if you know this. New York City is the only city in the world we get hit by a car and get yelled at for it. You know? <laughs> that was my fault, apparently. Like, ah, sorry. <laughs> I saw a bottle of piss the other day. <laughs> it was no joke, I just saw a bottle of piss sitting there. So eight sick. bottles of piss in nine months. Eight bottles in nine months. Which is pretty impressive considering the total amount of bottles of piss I've seen my whole life is eight. So it's... <laughs> at this rate, it should be a full gallon by the end of the year. I'm realizing how to avoid people asking me for money. Because I don't even like the transaction. I don't, I don't even like saying no. So I just try to avoid them all together. And the way I figured out how to do this, to avoid these people asking for money, you just got to act crazier than the person asking you for money. And I like to do this by telling myself a joke. You know, so I, I can tell they're about to ask me for money. I'm just like... <laughs> they're just like, what the fuck's wrong with that guy? <laughs> Usually does the trick, you know? Oh, man. Been taking Uber pools to save some money. Uh, these Uber pools are these are pretty wild stuff. Uh, my roommate recently he got in the front seat. I said I'll take the back seat. I'll get in the back seat with the strangers, you know. So we pick up these two drunk ladies, two drunk girls. They get in the back seat with me. They start making out. Yeah, kind of cool. You know? Would have been cooler if their hair was longer than mine, but. You know. <laughs> Can't be choosers, you know. <laughs> Got a job at a restaurant. I was uh, got a job as a server. My, my restaurant recently, we've been hiring, uh, doing open call interviews for all sorts of uh, positions in a restaurant. Bartenders, servers, bussers, dishwashers. I started hearing the way they were interviewing these dishwashers. It was so rude. They asked for like their resume. Like a dishwashing resume? What are you talking about? <laughs> like this is how long a dishwashing interview should go. Yeah, when can you start? <laughs> Why are you even interviewing the guy? Like he said he'll do it. Just let him wash the dishes. <laughs> you have dirty dishes, he said he'll wash them. That's the end of the <laughs> And said so they're like, why do you think you'd be a good fit for this position? <laughs> like, because you don't drug test. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, hopefully not washing fucking dishes. <laughs> Why'd you put your last job? Because I was hung over! I just didn't show up. Someone puts in a two weeks notice at a dishwashing job and fulfills it faithfully? No. I just quit and get a new one. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good enough for me. Uh, 
I'm not a political comedian. You can take a breath. I don't like talking about politics. It's boring to me, you know. Can't get behind these politicians anyways, you know. These guys are still voting using yay or nay. <laughs> Kid me, it's 2019. No one says that anymore. These are prestigious men with jobs. Trying to tell me to say yay or nay in their everyday life? I don't think so. <laughs> Sir, would you like another beer? Yay! <laughs> Will this be all together? Nay! <laughs> you guys save some room for dessert? <laughs> May. <laughs> and how the hell does that never cause a recount? Considering the two words rhyme? Like, does that never cause any confusion? <laughs> so, like, oh, we, got, we got 49 yays. Wait, 50 nays? Hey, who didn't know? It was Jay. <laughs> hey, Jay, what'd you say? Said nay. Nay? Yay. Yeah. We're like, yeah, we just change it to yes or no? They're like, well, I guess we could, but oh, we'd have to take a vote. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would have sucked, you know? Ah, oh, man. I'll leave you guys with this. As you can tell, uh, I'm a skinny guy. You couldn't tell already. Uh, <laughs> I have a hard time gaining weight, you know, I've got a high metabolism, you know, so I'm always eating like healthy because of it. I'm just like riding this wave till I can, you know, I'm always eating like shit, never eat healthy. Greens, get them out of here, you know. And uh, my girlfriend, she always eats healthy, except for this one day of the week, she has these things called a cheat date, right, where she can eat whatever the hell she wants and not feel guilty about it. And I always feel a little envious, I'm like, you know what, that sounds nice, you know what I mean, reward for all of her hard work, but I can't do this because I always am eating unhealthy. So I decided to help them and give myself a cheat day. So when I do my cheat day, instead of eating unhealthy, all day long and just eat healthy. <laughs> then I buy girls over there that are my girlfriend and I fuck them. <laughs> I'm single now, I uh... And I'm Jamie Gravy, thank you so much everybody.